The Rift Valley Fever is a vector-borne zoonosis transmitted by a broad spectrum of mosquito species to animals and humans. It may cause significant losses in livestock and serious public health implications. Endemic in most of the sub-Saharan countries and in the Arabian Peninsula, it recently appeared in Libya. Uh, my name is Abdel Nasser Dehoum. I'm working with EUFMD as an epidemiologist consultant. Uh, we, uh, we have a project with uh, Libya, with the National Center of Animal Health. As you know, uh, last year, in 2020, in uh, January, there was an outbreak for Rift Valley in three areas in the south of Libya. On the basis of a specific gap analysis and in collaboration with IRFAN, Enhancing Research for Africa Network, a pilot project was designed and implemented. So with the uh, new strategy that has been uh, uh, developed last year for the USMD, which is called Old Fast, we had the request uh, to expand, say, the good principles to other diseases. So Try working together at the regional level, working on specific priorities that start from our colleagues in Africa, and this is the right approach. From a multicultural and multidisciplinary cooperation, an innovative training model has been designed in view to scale it potentially to other contexts with similar critical issues and preconditions. IZSAM, Instituto Zuprofilactico Spermentale de la Bruso y del Molise, with its International Center for Veterinary Training and Information, and on behalf of EUFMD, the FAO European Commission for the Control of Foot and Mouth Disease implemented the virtual learning on Rift Valley Fever and other mosquito-borne arboviruses entomological surveillance. Based on interactive webinars, in-field and project work activities, its challenge was to deliver, at distance, laboratory training and mentoring to reinforce technical capacities, a new format to overcome borders and barriers, providing a fit-for-the-purpose customized and effective learning experience. This um, COVID pandemic has obliged us to rethink all the training. The idea that we have designed is to organize this learning path to target the activities in a way that is perfectly suitable for, for the needs you have in your country. We will have the training module in which we have combined interactive virtual lectures and exercises. The program of this course has been taught as much as possible similar to a face-to-face -face experience. If the participants were here with us, uh, they would have um, come with us in the field and um, they would have uh, uh, handled uh, uh, the collected mosquitoes. They would uh, have stayed at the stereoscope uh, with us. In this uh, virtual course, uh, our purpose is to do the same, with lectures online and practical section. The first session of this virtual course was aimed at training Libyan researchers on epidemiology and diagnosis of Rift Valley fever on the role of mosquitoes in the transmission of the various arboviruses and on the methods for collecting and analyzing entomological samples. That all um, can start from surveillance, which is a plan of field activities, followed by laboratory activities, which will feed a database that will serve surveillance. Different tutors complemented their speeches, aiming at describing in detail the collection activities for mosquitoes using different approaches for eggs, larvae and adults, different methods and tools, and finding the most appropriate sites. Videos and pictures taken directly on field and duly organized in a dynamic and pedagogical way facilitated the participants' learning process. A specific focus was dedicated also at describing the management of the entomological samples. To prepare the samples, we can use a falcon tube filled with first layer of silica gel in the bottom for moisture containment, a layer of cotton wool on which we can put our mosquito sample, topped with a second layer of cotton wool. Falcon tube 
must be stocked at fridge temperature. Important to label the sample with collection site, trap identification and collection date. The second session conducted participants step by step in the study of mosquitoes' families, genera, and species of interest. Webinars alternated theoretical presentations with practice on ad hoc prepared specimens. A key element was the use of high definition stereo microscope in video conferencing, adopted as an excellent tool for hands on training. Thanks to this approach, learners were able to study and apply the identification techniques of the vector species. According to you, how are the scales? Are narrow or, or broad? Can you see the swirling movements of the body? If you can appreciate the head, the thorax, the abdomen. I focus on the siphon. Oh, beautiful. Through synchronous interaction tools, such as chats, questions and answers, and instant polls, Progresses were constantly assessed by tutors. Okay, the answer is uh, Anopheline. A specific session of this webinar series was also devoted at presenting further steps after the collection and analysis of samples. Different experts completed the whole process, presenting the preparation of mosquito pools and the methods applied for virus detection and characterization. Finally, the creation of an entomological database was explained and experimented together with participants in order to understand the spatial and temporal distribution of vectors and the factors associated to presence and abundance of vectors in different areas. Once concluded this training phase, participants started their in-field activities aimed at implementing entomological surveillance in risk locations. Thanks to the constant backstop support of experts from EUFMD and IZSAM, participants prepared a surveillance plan, identifying sites for collecting samples, placing the traps, managing and analyzing the collected samples, and evaluating the results obtained. We are just starting now to work uh, for collection of the sample uh, in both larva and adult. We're trying to collect the sample of the mosquito with other participants. Uh, we bought the traps in the farm in the Zawiya for the collection of the adult mosquito. I try to collect the larva from the old tanks containing water and the different stages of larva. Samples were brought to the lab and uh, uh, I classified them using a stretch microscope. We also collected the larva. Samples were weighed and, uh, and then turned to adults, also were classified. At the end of the project work, a final follow-up session summarized the results of the in-field activity and served as fundamental step to evaluate the impact of the training. We uh, arrived to the conclusion of this virtual course, which was long. It was a great experience. So first of all, thank you. Today is the uh, final session introducing uh, the follow-up uh, process uh, that will be further conducted and implemented in the coming months. In that context, I think that this initiative can be uh, really, really useful and, and taken uh, forward. Despite uh, uh, one year working behind uh, a desktop and not having or having very few face-to-face uh, -face contact, there are still human beings behind the, 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 the desk. Thank you. Congratulations to you all and uh, thank you very much and goodbye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Bye bye.